everyone, welcome back. I'm Honeywell and we're playing Surviving the Aftermath and picking right back up where we left off. In the first episode, we took care of the most basic of needs. We got the food started, we have some shelters and water in place. In this episode, we're gonna make a push towards opening the gate and that means we need resources. If you'll remember, we chose the hardest settings with the least amount of starting materials so we have to work a little bit harder to get set up now between episodes i decided we were going to go for this group of resources right over here and it should come as no surprise we're going to be setting up our uh, recycler and scrapper uh, right next to the resources uh, with the stockpile that was just completed uh, next to it, which I hope is going to help us bring in the resources just a little bit faster. Um, now, in order to do that, we have we have this stockpile over here gathering about uh, 40 wood and 20 concrete. So I think we're going to have, which is not going to be enough, so we're going to go ahead and move the work area on this one. We'll control and mouse wheel to... Uh, to make this a little bit bigger. And let's see if we can get that concrete. So that's gonna be about 10, 20, about 60 concrete coming in and 20, 40, 60 wood. Do we need more wood? I think we might. Let's increase the work area on this so we can gather that wood as well. You know what, let's just gather it all. And that should give us the enough materials to go ahead and build our scrapper and recycler, which are will bring in metal and plastic. And you'll also see we have a medical tent over here. Now, before too long, our uh, little colonists, survivors, are gonna go wanna go dumpster diving. And when they do, chances are good they're gonna get hurt. <laughs> they're gonna break limbs or come back uh, irradiated. I don't know what they get up to, but it's not good. <laughs> so we want the uh, the first aid tent. Now that first aid tent needs 12 plastic and you'll see that we don't have any plastic. So we are gonna prioritize building the recycler first. And for that, we need 16 wood and eight concrete and we just have enough. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, Take that off pause and get our recycler up and running. And we need 12 plastic for 12 plastic for the medical tent. Let us put in our gate here. And we're gonna go ahead and pause that. And we need five there, so that's 17 plastic. Plus we'll probably need some more water no plastic there and another 10, 10. So we probably want 27 plastic, 17 to get the bare minimum, 27 to be on the safe side. Did I count that right? Yes, it takes 10 plastic for the emergency shelters, which makes sense, you know, it's a big group of tents. Let's go ahead and uh, pick up the pace just a little bit looks good, doesn't it? Now, I also, while I was uh, planning on how we were going to lay this out, I also um, took out this road because I think, because it looked ugly. Like, we have this nice green patch of grass over here. So I think we're going to bring the, um, the road down behind the nuclear waste to the gate but we will figure that out in a little bit and the berries are depleted that is fine and as soon as we have this recycler in I think we're gonna go ahead and put in two people in the recycler so we can get a jump on the plastic collection I mean you have to notice that we don't have many people so we only have four people left. There's two machines here. And let's go ahead and get two people in there. 
and we're looking for uh, 12 plastic at the minimum, 17 for the gate, and then maybe 27 to be comfortable. So we have these two people uh, wailing away over here, and you'll see they go ahead and, uh, let's slow this down a little bit. They go ahead right there, they smelt it up, and they can drop it right on the stockpile. Now they still have to go back towards their house and it looks like they're running straight down this road here. They need to go back to the town to uh, sleep and to get food. But now that I know what path they're taking, I'm going to go ahead and extend this road out here uh, to the berries, which will help. And I'm also going to move this work area over here and have them collect these berries, I think would be good. And we're already up to nine plastic. It's day one, so we're not doing too bad. Well, I guess it'll be day two in the morning. Maybe that is bad. I'm not sure. I watched a little bit of a, a Sky Storm uh, play this game, and I think he did the set up his gate the very first thing. Uh, so I guess we're we're behind the <laughs> we're behind the curve, but that's okay. This game is really pretty. I hope, I hope they do all the sorts of things that I'd like to uh, see in this game. Now, the reason why we're not unpausing these uh, buildings, uh, these guys can carry a lot of stuff. Like if I decide that, <sighs> serious <laughs> mutations. You'll also remember that we, again, the hardest settings and I think the radiation the chance of radiation was like, I don't know, like 60% or something. So, yeah. We're waiting for that 12, 12 plastic so we can get that tent open. As soon as we get that, we'll start building that. And what do we need for the recycler? This we can start. I should have started that a while ago, but that's fine. And we have 10 and 6 metal. Just enough. There we go, let's open up that. And now that we have that, we are going to take this person off. And as soon as three we wanted, we need five plastic for the gate. So we're going to take both of these people off so they can start helping with uh, getting everything built and everything brought in. Now our farmers over here, in between the crops, I know they have, <laughs> I know they have serious mutations. Are, is someone going to die? Oh, is, is it this little girl? I am so sorry. Um, Muhammad, stay away from, stay away from Abigail. You don't, you don't want to play with her. <laughs> ah, so funny. Oh, there we go. There's the medical tent. Good job, Abigail. Get in there. And as soon as she's done, we'll close that down. But now, what do we have here? We have the recycler. How much metal do we need? We need 15 metal, 15 concrete, and 20. Okay, so we're just waiting on the metal. The metal. So let's put two people in the metal, and uh, hopefully we can get we can get the gate open sooner rather than later, right? Yeah, I think so. Now, I really like, I am not a, uh, you know, a grungy uh, type of person. <laughs> I like nice things. Um, but these, the models in here are, are pretty uh, detailed and interesting enough that I don't mind it at all. You know, like the little uh, clothes racks. So much detail. 
I think it looks really good. And what are we waiting on? We're waiting on 15 plus or 15 metal for uh, the gate. And people are still being treated in the tent. Oh, uh, look, we have a stupid bit of road left over over here. Uh, what, how are we doing on gathering our materials? Still, still a lot over there. And still all of this to be gathered. And what do we need for another well? Uh, 10, 10 and 6. We don't have enough of that yet. Deposit is depleted. That's good. That means we're getting in the resources. And look, the colonist is suffering from serious mutations. Or is that the existing colonist? Um, the game has been uh, has been patched again, so for all I know, they've uh, upped the rates of infection. Or it could just be bad luck. And let's get a road. A road going down here. Which can't hurt. Speed up their path traveling to the stockpile. Uh, our food is looking pretty desperate. Are we still bringing in some berries until we get our crop? The yields look good and we do still have some berries. The problem is we don't have a lot of people. But the carriers from the farm um, should be out gathering. And is everyone done in the medical tent? Let's get him out so we can get back to work. And now we have uh, two more people again. And I'm tempted to open up back up the recycler, but honestly, I think we need the, the planks and the concrete more. And now we have all the materials we need for this. And once, once all of this is cleared out over here, I'll look at putting in a road down this way. I'll probably have it go around around here and skirt behind that nuclear waste. And that leaves, this leaves like a nicer open area over here and we can probably build something there. I know we're low on food. Uh, but they're harvesting that now. And the potatoes will come in soon afterwards, so we're good with that. Everything is uh, moving right along. Let's, um... Oh, colonists want to talk. Well, go ahead. Oh, and Jack is infected. Yes. Okay, let's talk. Now we only have two tools and two clothing, so uh, we want to send them out. We're giving them permission uh, to go out. What do they want to do, dumpster dive? Yeah, they're gonna go investigate an old landfill and see what they might bring back. Um, but we're sending them out without tools or clothes because we really can't afford it. Give them permission and yeah, and two colonists just got infected. Uh, it is what it is. At least we have the medical tent. It puts a crimp on our labor though, doesn't it? Um, we have the metal that we need. We have the metal that we need. Until some of those colonists are better. As soon as we can close the medical tent, we'll go ahead and get put somebody back on um, plastic, but there's still two people in here. So we'll leave it like that. And if, if there is any luck, we'll get this 
you know what? Maybe I should take the road. I could take the road down this way and run it all along the front and down. I'm not sure. But this is fine right now, like the way it is. Now, I have all of these materials being collected over here, and I'm probably going to go ahead and just put our our tool shop and tailor over here, uh, right next to this stockpile. Um, it's still, I mean, we still have our tents right around here, so if people need tools and whatnot, they can just zip right around. And, you know, well, maybe we'll put the tool shop and the the tailor right along here, along with maybe a, a, a shed or whatever they need to store them, a warehouse. But if we were done with this and we didn't want that, um, we can go ahead and just delete the stockpile and they carry huge amounts of goods. They'll transfer like this whole stockpile over to, you know, our main center of town in a matter of minutes. So I am a big fan of putting the stockpiles right next to the resources that we're gathering and yeah, and doing it that way. And how are we doing over here? Not a lot of food. Bringing in six more, and then how are we doing with this? 73%? That along with the berries should keep us just... We should be okay, we're consuming six a day. More planks. Jack is infected. Is Jack new? <laughs> We might be just having like a, a run of bad luck. I've never had to uh, get two medical tents uh, right close together, but we might have to with this one. There we go. Construction completed, the gate. And there is our flag. And here we have Porter. I don't know who this is. I've never had him before. Leadership three, which means nothing for right now. Mm, it's, his attack is really low. Research is good, scavenge. Eh, uh, we don't care. That's, and we have two medical supplies. It's a shame. I really wish we could put these in reserve so no one could use them, so we could use them for when somebody comes along for seeds. But you know what? It is what it is. We're definitely accepting them. There's seven beef jerky and there's three tools. That's amazing. And this is why we want we want a road for out here because in order for to pick up these tools or jerky or medical supplies, they have to come all the way down here. Uh, but yeah, that was our goal for this episode was opening the gate. It is day four, not too shabby. Uh, considering, you know, what we started with. Now that we have another person, we're going to go ahead and open up this plastic. And we have a couple more people, so... Well, let's send out our specialist. We'll, uh, we'll let him explore one thing. He only has five movements, so that's not good. And there are some uh, materials. In fact... I might actually even have him collect this plastic and we might close our um, recycling center right now just to save on the labor. Because back in, back in the town, we are going to want to um, set up tools, clothing, and we also need another source of food, um, either fish or a trapper. Um, but yeah, the goal for this episode was opening up the gate, and we've done that, so I think we are done here. Now, I honestly thought there would be more interest in a series for this game, uh, but at the time I'm recording this, that doesn't seem to be the case. If I'm wrong, we'll go ahead and keep going, but otherwise, I think we're going to go ahead and just plop these two videos in our grab bag for now, and save a full Let's Play for when the game releases. Does that sound all right? Uh, I don't know. You tell me. 
But either or, thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate your likes and your comments and all that good stuff. You guys know that. Um, but that is all for now. I hope to see you all soon. Bye-bye.